Hi, I'm Mitch Cassier from Desert Adventures, and welcome to Matata Musings. What's a Matata, you ask? Well, that's going to be the subject of our first musing. According to our Wikipedia, Matate, or mealing stone, is a mortar, a ground stone used for processing grain and seeds. These have been used all over the world by ancient cultures, and some date back as far as 1 AD. Okay, well, it's very fortunate for the uh, Kuya Indians that at the hottest time of year, August, September, uh, the acorns and pine nuts up on the mountain were ready. So most of the village would leave to gather that, come back maybe about nine weeks. If you just start eating acorns, very quickly you'll have cirrhosis of the liver. So you had to process many of the foods that the Kuya Indians uh, ate to make it edible. And uh, the matate is where the women would process their foods. So every day a woman would come to her matate. You didn't go to the sunny one on a cool day or the shady one on a hot day. You went to yours. And this would eventually become your daughter-in-law's. So you would start out making the acorn, the second most important food to this tribe, edible by, in the first place, breaking it. So she would place her acorn in the same spot and with the same stone break the acorn. And this was the first step in making it edible. And after uh, many, many years, you begin to wear a depression, even in this uh, very hard granite. After many years, you have a bedrock mortar. In a bedrock mortar, you can uh, process all kinds of plants into food. Uh, so a woman would take a basket that had the bottom already wearing out of it. She would cut the bottom off and glue it around here with one of the few things they made uh, glue from, either the creosote or maybe mesquite sap. So the basket came up, there was no bottom in it, and she would put material in here that was going to be crushed into flour, mesquite beans or maybe desert holly, and with a long pestle stone, she would pound down through the hole in the basket and uh, crush the flour. The reason she wanted a basket here is, even on a day with a light breeze like this, the flour would be blown into her hair and on her chest, and uh, with the basket, it was really kept where it needed to be. Uh, they also used it like the uh, traditional matate and mano down in Mexico. Uh, this is the matate, this is the mano. So here she would place something that she wanted to make bread out of. Uh, maybe she mixed a few different kinds of plants that were sweet and salty to get uh, a bread. So she placed her mesquite beans and maybe a few other uh, types of plants there. And just like they still do in Mexico, she would just crush this like this into flour with a small brush, just drop it in here. Uh, a little animal fat and water, she could take this flour, make her tortillas, and if it was July, she could cook it right there. So what's a matate, you ask? Well, now you know. <laughs>